Hello, Drew. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How are things going? So far, so good. How about yourself? Yeah, nice. Um, let's wait a couple of minutes uh, to see if. Yeah, uh, it's all Lucina join and then drop. Maybe she's having issues. Okay. Yeah, with the audio. <laughs> Oh, now it's, it's, she's back. Um, hey, Lucina. Good morning. Good morning. Let's wait a couple of minutes. Um, I don't know if someone else is also going to join. Um, last week, uh, Oliver and, and Taylor, we were um, thinking about like a um, Having a working session um, and try to complete the what's the name of principle uh, uh, one concern per container uh, principle. So uh, I don't know if we are going to continue on that or we have a regular meeting. Hey, good morning. Hello, Taylor. Good morning. Should we start the, the meeting? <clears throat> yeah, Victor, um, you're late in today? Yeah, uh, let's, well, at least. yeah, I guess let's get started. Um, if we have a short one, that's fine. Or we can turn it into working session, whatever we want to do today. Makes sense. So, well, I don't know if, should I just go through the, um, through all the, Things that we have uh, in our agenda, like uh, I suppose, <laughs> are aware of the incoming events. Um, I don't think that we haven't added anyone else, right? Uh, hmm. Yeah, probably pretty much the same. Um, CFPs have closed for Telco Day. Um, yes. So they'll. Uh, be going through those and we should hear an announcement on the I guess people get notified and then announcement on the agenda for telco day and 
we have several KCDs or <laughs> leads in, in Texas and, and UK. Yeah. Um, the other one that I haven't heard anything is about the, the nephew, um, TC and Developer Summit. Uh, they were proposing two different weeks. Um, but one of the things that I noticed is uh, one of these weeks are were conflicting with the uh, which is, uh, <clears throat> yeah the open source summit, <clears throat> especially the second one. So I don't know if at the end of the day they are going to choose only what the first option. It's the only one who who is not making conflict, um, like the, the September 11. <clears throat> it's, it's not doing conflict with uh, with 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 this September 19 uh, week. But again, they haven't they haven't confirmed that. So let's see, let's see what happens. So other than that, I think that we are we are okay in terms of like a events. Yep. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> sorry. So regarding PRs, I guess we are still empty and we have the same number of issues. So let's, I think that it's better to focus on, on the one single purpose per container, per container issue. So what, what do you think? That is a good idea. Let's take a look at the one concern per container, I guess. Um, unless you want to, well, I don't think there's enough of us to look at what's the next one. Let's try to knock this one out and then maybe we can look at what the next one would be. And, uh, I know you and I had talked about stuff related to NFIO, so it's probably something to um, dig into next. Okay, so if that one is in, in the issue section or in the discussion. I don't remember if we put anything in an issue yet. No, I think we were going to look through and try to highlight, so we'd need to. I mean, we could have like a brainstorming or something where we do an initial highlight of the NFIO stuff and then try to dig into individual ones or we need to do it more in depth. Hi, Eldico. Hi. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um... So in that case, should should I just go through this one or like uh, go to the discussions or or what you suggesting? Um, I I think we should defer that that rather than let's take a look at that one process and then if there's nothing to nothing new, then we can either work on it. Um, I think we should work on it. That's what I was going to say, and then later we can look at the. Nefio stuff. Okay. That doesn't make uh, sense. Ildika, do you have any topic agenda or anything to add for today? No, I don't. I just came to lurk. All right. But nice. We need more extra eyes on here. <laughs> so, well, uh, what we have been trying to do is um, let me check. Uh, yeah, this is the, the right draft, right? So we have tried to make uh, this particular draft completed. Um, Oliver Taylor and I, we have been tried to, uh, um, yeah, be in agreement with the definition and all these things. Um, I think there are several sections who has uh, ready to go. Others. Uh, Definitely, we need more uh, feedback. So uh, I will give uh, plenty of time to, to Kaluk. Um, actually, let me 
shared link. Uh, and if, if you can also participate, adding more stuff here, uh, it would be nice. Um, the first thing is like the summary. The summary we, we consider that it's ready. So Do you think that we need to revisit the, the, the summary or all of us are agree with this particular summary? Uh, I'm good with that summary. Um, Ildika, do you have any feedback for this? So this best practice about, um, we're not quite sure on the name, it's kind of shifted several times. It was one process per container and one process per category. Um, I think, uh, existing test right now that's in the test suite is checking for it's multiple process types in a single container is what it's trying to look for is it not a good practice in general so the idea of this related microservices and trying to separate concerns and then helping to break down services into their component parts to um, for size, so you're not going to keep expanding. You're not trying to take too many things. Um, you know, all the different reasons, benefits are about microservices is one of the main drivers. It makes sense to me. Okay. Right. Yeah, this this other paragraph is basically taken from from Docker as a best practice. So yeah, this is something that we are referring. Uh, the next, the next section is uh, motivation. Uh, when we were uh, reviewing uh, motivation and goals, um, we were a little bit confused. That's why we tried to put it like a, a, a small reminder uh, what we consider like a motivation. And in this particular case, we split it into main audience. Um, the first one is a uh, consumer or the operator, uh, person who are like uh, using those CNFs in, in the infrastructure. So that's why we have a few points here and, and probably we're going to add others here as well. For us, motivation is basically um, <clears throat> is experience from the past. So, so the, or things that they want to avoid. Uh, for, for that particular case, uh, in this case, for example, the operators um, have been faced uh, with the security issues or like uh, issues during the troubleshooting process. Uh, and and they, are, they are trying to avoid those particular problems. So I'm using this particular uh, best practice, how um, how using this particular uh, best practice can avoid uh, to, to go through the, the, this particular issue. So, for example, scaling. When we talk about like the way that they have to scale, it's pretty hard to, to scale uh, resources independently. Um, so that's why we try to, uh, the motivation here is like how they can, they can do it in a, in a in a good cost uh, manner or way. I also give a few, few minutes to take a look and just maybe uh, think about it. What, what do you think about in, in, in the area of uh, one single container, one process per container? I think that those from the com operator perspective are the only things necessary or like do you think that they are, this is the only motivation that they can face it? Are you good with accepting those as a start for this? I think that's part of what we need to do is just 
either close or move stuff out of the way. I mean, the, the top part is obviously, um, this is just the definition description, but we, don't, we shouldn't have that in later, but the rest of it. Well, probably if we don't add something here for the developers, maybe we, we should also remove it, but. Um... I think we were talking about moving the benefits down, but that's to the goals section. Uh, go ahead and accept the top part and then we'll adjust this. Yeah, just check, check it out. All right, the, the other's just comment. All right, so we'll wanna. We we'll want to remove it later. Right. Maybe for the developers, I guess, one of the motivations could be that they don't have to uh, deal with other uh, things in the, um, I don't know if they have to, hmm. I'm trying to, to put it like a, what could be the, the benefits for CNF developers to put all everything in a single, well, just focusing one process per category. Um, I'm not sure if the it has benefits because uh, if you split the services into uh, containers, you have to start thinking about how to communicate between those, 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 these two things like, let's say that you have one process like um, memcache we were like using that as a, a primary example so when when you have memcache and the web server in the same container um, you can rely on, on things on memcache but but when when you use this particular best practice so you have to start thinking about distributed the the communication like like sending things in the cache in, in another container maybe requires some extra configuration so i'm not that's why i was not saying that it could be a, like a motivation so probably i think i need to think about one, one benefit um, um so sorry can you all hear me now yeah yeah now i can hear you I don't know what happened. So the different groups having different speeds. So you could end up having a like a, a one component that's the development speed and up, updates are much faster, and another part is you know much slower. You mean during the development, right? Like when? when... Yeah. yeah, that's good one. So, so it's one, basically it's, it's one of the major benefits to you have a microservices architecture. I think we lost uh, Taylor again. No, I'm here. I'm just trying to oh. think of everything for the development uh, for what I was saying. So the, uh, I mean, it's the different speeds. I'll just say, um, 
<clears throat> components maintained by multiple groups. Um, <clears throat> and our developers. Probably I would just allow or like add allow work here. Allow yeah. Multiple groups like a. Multiple groups. Maintain different components like yeah. just to keep the, the same uh, the same the similar uh, format that we had before. Yeah. Dependent components, yeah. <clears throat> um. <laughs> So So if I'm thinking like bugs and everything, so just the service offering, if you have a component that's um, minimized to the single concern, then you do have, you got to make sure that the surface, wherever the communication is going to happen is solid, but internal to it, you've simplified um, issues. So bugs, if there's anything, is it, and this goes back to the first one, if, you know, if there's multiple components and different groups and stuff, and someone introduces a bug in one area, but you're tightly coupled, then you end up with um, potentially having bugs in other areas that, that as a result. So if you're loosely coupled on those components, then someone can do their development if they introduce a bug then ideally it's not going to introduce a bug for the others if you're if you make sure that the um handshake between them is strong and you're going to make sure that works and even if you break something else you didn't break everything and then that's similar for stuff like um if someone introduces a, a new feature and they're not as worried about breaking everything because they can keep it internal. Yeah, um, well, what I was thinking is like, uh, is, is that one not um, in the area of uh, operator? Like, so yeah, if, if you talk about like when a developer has to fix a book, yeah, probably it's going to be easier, like because they have. We're talking about modifying the source code. Um, well, it's you're going to have both. So you're going to have the the ops team that may find a problem themselves, and then how can they narrow it down? And if they're broken into parts, then hopefully the problem is more visible to being a single component. 
and then that can report that or whatever. And then you're also going to just have bugs that developers find themselves maybe, you know, during more extensive testing or before it ever gets out of staging and moves on to the customer or something. So I, I, we're going to have overlap on all those. And I, don't, I don't think we should try to keep it all separate. If if they're doing the same thing, I think that's okay. Okay. Because the other thing is, it could be like a, in terms of like a unit testing or functional testing, I guess it would be more effective if you only have to do uh, the functional test or uh, like uh, the unit test when, when your container only focusing one single thing instead of. Uh, mm. It's interesting. Um, so motivation. Um, so we're we're kind of what is the benefit versus the motivation? So a motivation. Um, I'm just going to say increase test coverage um, for each component, or maybe it's. Uh, confidence they motivation yes confidence in test coverage of the cnf so then that's a i that's not the what are we doing this is they want it so they the developers would like to be confident that they covered everything the like, so the goal, so this would be, hold on, getting it mixed up again. <laughs> uh, the goal is something you wish. So we may, I may be getting it right. The goal is to give them confidence, motivation. Exactly, because in the past, they didn't have that confidence. Yeah, I think that's, that's fine. Right. Um, so the goal is confidence and test coverage. Motivation is, um, yeah. So the motivation, um, test coverage over a complex CNF is um, difficult to see because of tightly Test coverage of a complex CNS that is tightly uh, complex and tightly coupled CNF is difficult. To achieve. There we go. So now, so this is the motivation. That's their motivation. So then our goal, um, I'm going to just put it here. Um, we don't really have it split, but So now the a goal is confidence and test coverage of, C, of CNF. Um, by producing the complexity. Something like that. Does that make sense? So that's our goal by with this best practice. And the goal is related to this challenge. 
Couldn't better like just put like a increase here. Yeah. That's that's our, our, our target, right? Mm -hmm. Like uh, we, Okay. Multiple multiple uh so the motivation here um so this is multiple maintainers which can be groups and an organization can be different groups and organization can um, I, I'm just going to write it out and then maybe we, we adjust. Can block each other, um, each other's development process when a CNF is tightly coupled. Does that make sense? I was thinking like a story with like a, the, the goal should be accelerating the development process. So we're not in goals, this is motivation. Okay. So that, that I mean, maybe we should actually flip this. <laughs> what are the goals are what we're going to try to do. The motivation is why we're trying to do that. In a lot of ways, this could be merged, and we might should say motivation and goal. And we just merge these two sections. I think it causes confusion, what we currently have. <laughs> yeah. Because of how it's split up between them, but yeah. Hold on one second. Um, uh, goals and motivation. I got something to do here. Um, here we go. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in here and then show you what I was doing. Yeah, is adding the definition to the, let's do it like this. All right, this is in the proposal document. Let's see if I can just show me the actual file. Review and code space, is that what I want? Oh my gosh, what is this weird thing? Okay, I'm not gonna do it that way. Anyway, so we can go look at that pull request in a minute. I'm going to pull this up. So this is the, this is telling us <clears throat> what each one of these sections are. Um, but it doesn't actually give the definition, which is why I added in that pull request. But you can see the example here, motivation. Um, you put something in the chat? No, I'm I just realized I'm not sharing my screen. Sorry. <laughs> um uh, I, I can give you access. I mean I can stop, I stop sharing. Yeah, let me let me share. Sorry. All right. So um I created a pull request to add to this. This is more of how do you propose a best practice, this document, the, the first one and going through all the areas. So on motivation, um, this is why would we, <laughs> the example is why would you do a, a best practice proposal? So, mm -hmm. and they're putting them in the motivation, it's saying why you would do that. 
without standards mechanism for describing important quality of best practices, the wider telecom community will struggle to understand the importance. So this is the motivation behind. So then the goal is provide a standard way for the community to propose and discuss cloud native definitions. That's the what there's this uh, in this <clears throat> document, like why it's here. So why are we doing this at all? So they're giving, here's the problem. The motivation is the problem that we're trying to solve. And then what are we trying to solve with what we're doing? That's that's what we're meeting between goal and motivation. And the non-goal is like just out of the scope uh, things? Yeah, and that could be out of scope. Um, and this is trying to be more formal with, is the main reason to split these up into totally different sections, the so motivation and then goals versus having an intermix where you would say, let me give you one and then let me show what we're trying to do. <clears throat> if you were reading like a white paper or you know, some more technical blog or something, then it may start by putting forward, here's the issue that we're trying to deal with and, and more extensively, and then start breaking it down. This didn't explicitly point back it's just expecting that you actually read it. So that's why we're following that whenever we're going here. So we have the motivation. I mean, I put motivation angle, but uh, motivation here. So this is the problem. And then the goal is how we're trying to solve it. So we really could <clears throat> call this challenge. And then, you know, solution and then non Objectives. out of scope or objective or whatever yeah i don't want to change all that right now no 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 that's fine let's keep it uh, as it is i'm May putting this into the actual PR. I mean, I probably no one looks at them anymore, but um, the the this definition, but the pull requests that I was putting, I was trying to do that. We'll see how it is. Like the templates, probably a better place. Whenever, however, they're copying it over. We just want to delete it out. <clears throat> but it would say something like motivation is the challenge and it's that the end user has so motivation is a challenge is something the end user has from the past and it's something you want to help overcome with your goal right so then that goal is something in the future we're trying to get to the objective i, I think we need a little work on the how we introduce it and maybe Maybe this would be a good thing. Um, Lucina, you've put forward in the past and we've done it and it sounds like it's time to do it again as introduction to the working group and how people can get, um, get involved. So the fact that we're struggling to talk about this means that other people are gonna have a harder time. So I think we could go in and um, update this at a minimum <clears throat> have it like a high level and saying what what are these best practices and go okay the telecom community has challenges and uh, we're listing those as the motivation for what the best practices are trying to solve the object each best practice has an objective its goal in what it's trying to solve related to those um, challenges and motivations. And then we try to list any out of scope items and the non goals. So I think we could write that up, um, Victor, and probably have it like as the updated intro. There's the contributor document or something that we could update and, mm -hmm. and maybe link from the README, how to get involved, something. 
and then maybe have a work on something for like an introduction, like a, I don't know, 15 minute presentation or something for a future uh, conference or whatever. Uh, good for now, Can we move on? Yeah, I think that, that yeah, that, let's move on. Does it make more sense? Ildika, does it make sense to you? You haven't been around for a while, trying to make sure that this is clear, how it's organized, what we're doing. I think it mostly does. Um, my brain also needs a little time to process, but um, as as we talked it through here, it, it did make sense or does make sense. Any questions? Right now, any questions? I don't have for now. All right. <clears throat> so, um, Victor, thinking about it from <clears throat> motivation is challenges and goals are the objectives to help solve those challenges. Um, I think we could reword some of these. I've started. Um, so this one is the tightly coupled. This one is actually the goals. So we, we should move that down. We want to reduce the complexity of individual components. And yeah, and that covers basically things from from the developers and operator. That's... Yeah. So this leads to I'm going to put it right below just for a moment so that we can kind of see the relationship and then I'll um, move it down. So this is a goal <laughs> for this one. So we were talking about test coverage. Um, so this is another goal. So this is a goal, we'll move it down. So multiple maintainers can block each other's development. Um, I feel like that's a motivation, right? Because that's a problem where- Yeah, we're this is a motivation. Out. And then this is a goal, allow multiple mm -hmm. groups to maintain the independent development life cycle at their own development maintain sorry their own independent development life cycles <clears throat> so motivation and then the goal a high degree of test coverage with complex it's difficult to that, achieve and then goal yeah. reduce complexity of individual components which leads to, and this one feels like multiple. Um, so, oh, we have the increased confidence. Um, I think you put it there, increased confidence test coverage. So I kind of feel like well, that's actually part of this, uh, reduce complexity. I'm gonna temporarily, move this up just so it can read it. We can also start like putting like non goals here in the same way. Uh, yeah. So probably this is a non goal is to um, specify how the house and, and where. Uh, is what? Uh, well, uh, what I was saying is like uh, maybe like, like, like specifying the details, like implementation details. I don't think that we have to. Um, specify how to, 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 to split the things or like the logic that they have to follow.
I think in the second bullet, if you add find and fix box in the build components, you are covering basically two audience, like uh, the developers and the, the operators. Mm -hmm. So this is really a goal. Saying if the challenges with complex and tightly coupled CNFs. So I need to do it like that so that we can see what are we trying to solve. All right. Large surface area. The other, thing, the other thing would be like the first bullet is like uh, scaling issues. I want to say locate, um, close in. There's something difficult to, it's not just fine, but like um, reduce the area, difficult to find where the bug is. Okay. Um. <laughs> so you may go, oh, the bug is in the CNF. That's different from going, oh, it's in this uh, one, one CNF that has like, 15 different services that it's providing it might be a lot harder to find like which part of this is actually causing the problem what, what about the word identify yeah but i'm, I'm talking about like identify identifying it's fine but it's like reducing you're trying to reduce the area if it's a complex cnf but you have it broken into microservices and it's more likely that you're going to see the problem on one component 
And it, that component may actually not be the problem, but they can at least go and immediately investigate one component then go, oh, this is caused because another component is given it the wrong information. So you're reducing <clears throat> the area when you report it instead of going, your CNF's broken. You go, this component within the CNF is responding incorrectly. And then they can go and investigate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My brain is thinking of more idioms. Difficult to find bugs and home in on the area that the real problem is, but that's not, I'm trying to use words that aren't idioms. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> Anyone have anything? Lucina, somebody? <clears throat> yeah, because my my brain only brings uh, idiom, idioms like identify, discover, things like that. Yeah, difficult to detect. Identify. I'm going to use this um, potential component um, where bug resides. Something like that. Okay. Um, so these are the motivations. And then the, this area is actually goals. Reduce the attack surface area. Simplify troubleshooting readout so we don't really have that. So they, um, something about it's, uh, instead of making something visible, you're obscuring it. It's opaque. So um, So when they're tightly coupled, then you don't really know what's going on. But if they're broken into microservices, then you're going to have the communication as well defined between them. They could potentially have log output where it's you could have like CNF name and component name. So then if some, there's a problem, mm -hmm. then that will help find troubleshoot. You're you're talking about the the logs output, like uh... yeah, it it doesn't mean that they're not going to have it. They could have an internal, they could have it all tightly coupled, but then log stuff separately. But if you are already intentionally separating them into microservices and that's visible, then I think you're more likely going to have your logging and stuff separated because you're already having to run them independently. So on the development side, you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move these goals down. Yeah. Into the goal section. I think that was here. I'm going to do this. All right. Uh, this was before. I think this general goal is true. I'm going to make this a different color so we know 
to remove it later. All right. If they're broken into microservices, then you're going to be taking advantage of the Kubernetes orchestration more. Um, I think you brought this up, maybe. Um, the architectural practices. So if you're microservice architecture practices, if you're breaking it down, then you can start taking advantage of more of those. Uh, so I think that's kind of a developer view as well, but it it does, it, if their ops team know that you're following that, then they can probably train and build their environment. Um, that's, that's not complete, right? Like simple file throw ensuring? No, it's not. Um, I'm gonna do it like that. Uh, reducing tech service, simplify troubleshooting readout. I think that's that one. So we can remove that. Upgrading process types independently. So we didn't talk about that as a motivation, but that's a motivation really for, I mean, developers may or may not. I mean, I think they do when we talk about like um, this one, tightly coupled uh, right here then they care about it, but we can also put it up here. So, so the motivation, a challenge for the CSPs, they on upgrades. So um, upgrading um, So I upgrades with something about multiple services, multiple services, and maybe it's like interruptions. It's um, what, what, what one one uh, word that Oliver yeah. and, and I we were uh, talking about in this particular case. I guess the, the the key word here is independently. So, because yeah, you 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 want to create just one single process um, without affecting the other ones. All right, something there. I was trying to catch what you're saying. And mm -hmm. then we have it on the goal, upgrading process types independently, reducing risk. More fine grained monitoring. All of that. So you could actually roll back independent paces or call it off you know i mean of course this all requires people to um, do that work but all right i'm going to move this oops i went too far i'm going to remove the goals down from the developer and then i think we stop because we're four minutes over so under the developers talking about different organizations or groups that are all doing maintaining and we want to make it independent so that they can 
work by themselves. So I'm going to move that goal down. Mm -hmm. um, Oops, where'd I go? We've got to totally fix all this bottom area. It's hard to do. All right. And then um, we're saying test coverage is difficult whenever they're tightly coupled. So again, developer. Yep. Oh, so we have a goal, reduce the complex. So we want to um, um, have loosely coupled, reduce the complexity of individual components and eh, um, move towards loosely coupled components and By the way, Taylor, we are top of the hour. Yep. So we should. We'll stop here. This is a good chunk. I think we can, if we can move, a lot of this was out of um, the document that Oliver copied over. The, the, there's a blog post that's linked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, I think if we can clear this section out and move it into either goals or turn them into challenges, then that'll cover most of it. The out of scope will be pretty straightforward. And the proposal is, you know, based on content that is uh, right out of the document. I think the, the challenges and, and objectives were a more difficult thing to cover on this. Yeah, agreed. All right. <clears throat> well, we have progress. <laughs> Yeah, de definitely good progress. And I'm up for working with you again this week if you're available. Good session. Thanks, everyone. See you next time. Okay. See you. Bye.